Um, so at college, uh, it was my I I. I Theater is my background. I, I don't look there, right? Look, you, you can, can, you look, you can look wherever. Right? Right? It's fine. So Maybe in college, I did some <laughs> shows. Okay. This is the show where we answer your questions, but if it gets too deep, we say don't go there. Hello, and welcome to another Don't Go There. We are here with Jonathan Tempanelli. Hi. Hello. So let's get started. When did you realize that you first wanted to be a performer? When I was three years, my dad always tells a story because my dad's a performer. He's a mm. singer, comedian, impressionist. Oh. So when uh, he tells a story, he was performing in front of like a big Kmart. He had like a stage. There was this big like I think a grand opening or something. But I was three years old. I unplugged the main power source, went up on the stage, grabbed my dad's mic, and started singing "I Love You" from Barney. Oh my oh, god! Oh, from Barney. Oh, oh my god. That is, so, that is funny. Yeah. That is so funny. So, and that was when you were three. Yes. Oh, that is so funny. So were your first words upstage? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. You went to college? Yes. Where did you go to college? Florida Southern College in Lakeland, Florida. Oh my gosh. Yes. yes. Did you finish? I did. You did. Awesome. What degree? Uh, theater per uh, BFA in theater performance and a mi uh, minor in communications. Oh. Because you just took you already have to take three classes in communication, so you can mm -hmm. take two more if you got the minor. So I was oh. like, why not? I'll take women's studies. <laughs> and that's never changed. No. <laughs> it's been your He's minor ever since. I've learned nothing. <laughs> Do you have any crazy or embarrassing moments from college? More on the embarrassing side. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, one of the first times I got really, really drunk in my life, uh, I was... Uh, my 19th birthday. <laughs> Is that allowed? Yes. Um, it was my 19th birthday, and uh, I woke up well, covered in my own puke and urine. Oh. So where did you wake up? Um, in my bed. Oh. So that's oh, okay. that's, hey, that's, right. that's good. Bed. So yeah. that's nice. Uh -huh. That's good. Did you have any guest service jobs before you started performing? Steak and Shake. I worked at Steak and Shake for two years. Steak and Shake. How do they do the dual milkshakes? Like oh, the that's, two I used to do that. Yeah. You take them both and you. you it, it's all. It's, it's make that face. It's the like, just a little face. bit. Okay, that's good. Okay. You remind me of Sully right now. <clears throat> Sully? Yeah. Like from, from Monster Z. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's where it came from. Where's the Bum, bum, bum. The only other job I had before that was I was the DJ at Monster Mini Golf, which is an indoor glow in the dark miniature golf course. Oh. I was 15 years old and they offered me a job. Where is that? Newport Ritchie, Florida, where oh, I'm from. Hilarious. An hour north of Tampa. Been there. Yeah, I'm months. sorry. Hilarious. Cool. So you're, you, you are a true Floridian. Unfortunately. What was your audition experience like for the parks? So when I was a freshman in college, because I was in Lakeland, when I was a freshman, I auditioned for uni... You can say You okay. can say Universal. <laughs> You're allowed to say right, You're right, allowed right. to say the parks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I worked for Universal, or I, I auditioned for Universal my freshman year. Um, I auditioned for a show. Is it gone? No. Oh, oh yes. Well, no. So, the show I auditioned for, the one I do with my boy Rusty. Yes, the one where there's a lot of music, music and, uh, and saxophone players. Sideburns. Yes. And God, um, sunglasses. A lot of blues music. Lots of blues music. Yes. And we're related in it, right? We, yeah. We're not sisters. Yeah, sure. So I auditioned for that. They um, they waited. They called me and were like, hey, so we want you for this. But we're going to wait a little bit because we want to get more people in the, in the um, training. training group. And so. Uh, we're gonna put you at. It's not there anymore. So yes. disaster, disaster studios. Oh my god! So I was disaster. Lonnie at disaster, um, which I ended up working there more than um, the other show. Oh, um, musical review. The show. Musical review. Yes. Of blues music. And uh, but I loved that. It was a lot of fun. Cool. Disaster That's awesome. was fun. Oh, disaster. That. Yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> so, speaking of close attractions, are there any other shows other than Disaster that uh, you have done? That I've done? In the parks. Yes. The one with the review musical thing. That are gone. Oh, that are gone? Yeah. That no. have closed. No. See, and again, job security. What other shows have you done outside of the parks? Outside of like all theme parks? Yeah. Oh, like musicals? Yeah. Okay. Um, so at college, it was my I, 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 
theater is my background. I, I don't look there, right? Look, you, you can, can, you can look wherever. Right? It's fine. So Maybe in college, I did some shows. <laughs> okay. So I did a lot in college. I was very lucky to do that. Um, favorite shows? My senior year, I did. 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Oh my gosh. Which was one of my favorite shows. I, I was love William that show Fay. so much. Uh, I was going to ask you. <laughs> I was a little bigger than that. Um, eh, not really. I just like to think I was. Uh, you probably were. <laughs> mm, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream was actually a lot of fun. I was bottom, and that was a, a lot, a lot of fun. I did that in the ballet. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a fun show. Um, uh, next to normal, I was Henry. In middle school, I did night. I was nicely, nicely in Guys and Dolls. Oh, cool. Love oh, that. Uh -huh. I was just emotional. Yes. Down, yeah. I love it. I, that's, I still use that as an audition song. It's great. Um, and I, 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 I've done a lot. I just, I, those are like some of my favorite ones. Mr. Yeah. Mushnick. Mr. Mushnick. Which show was your favorite that you did outside of the park? 25th Annual Park and County Spelling. Yes. I would do some shows you do. Oh, wait a second. I forgot. I did some summer stock and uh, I did Rock of Ages. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. And I was Lonnie in Rock of Ages. He was like the narrator. Lonnie yeah. Again. Yes, I know Lonnie. It's just yeah. I'm meant to be. Um, that I could do. That I could do that show. I could do a run of that for like years. Do you have any performance <laughs> fails? Performance fails, like on stage. Yes. Yes. Middle school, guys and dolls. I'm supposed to pick up Adelaide. Um, that's what that was our blocking. It was guys and dolls junior. So I picked her up. Um, put her over my shoulder, she kept going, fell on her face, <gasps> I know, so I like drag her off stage, I come back on, I'm supposed to say, I took Adelaide to the hot box, but I come on, I go, so I took Adelaide to the chiropractor, and then to the hot box, and everyone just went crazy, and oh I felt like, I felt horrible about it. Was um, she okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you drug her off stage, uh, yeah. so that was kind of a clue. Yeah. It was, uh, <laughs> you it knocked was... her out, it's fine. <laughs> Do you have a dream role? Elder Cunningham, Book of Mormon. Okay, and now we have graduated to the Twitter questions. What is your dream sponsor? Rogaine. Rogaine? <laughs> Why? I don't know, first thing that came to my mind. Okay. Could you chug a uh, pumpkin spice latte in 10 seconds? A hot one or a cold one? Wait, are lattes hot? Lattes are hot. Mm -hmm. Then no, it's hot. <laughs> it is dangerous. What's your favorite waste of time? Okay, I've literally pulled an all-nighter on accident watching tasty videos on Facebook. Um, is something being printed? <laughs> is something being printed? Yes. That's the question. Mm -hmm. yep. No. Uh, shaved legs or a night with chocolate and, and, and sweatpants? Shave legs? Me? Yes. Shave legs or have a night with chocolate and sweatpants? Chocolate and shaved legs. Chocolate and shaved legs? Yeah. No. That's shaved it. legs I'm or... I'm shave my legs with the chocolate. Put that down, a nice layer, then shave. Put my pants over. And then you that can eat is... the chocolate later and floss your teeth at the same time. Oh, oh gross. Oh. Alright, when you stir your drink, do you stir clockwise or anti-clockwise? I'll go clockwise. How do you adult? I don't. Have you been to England? <coughs> no. No. Why do you put round pizza in a square box and then cut it into triangles? Oh, you got me with the triangle thing. I've heard the first one, but you're right. Yeah. I mean, it's not technically a triangle because the outer side is rounded. But True. I don't know what you would call that shape. But because seven, eight, nine. Would you be willing to eat a bowl of crickets for forty thousand dollars? Yes. And the last question, uh, the question we ask everyone: If you could be any attraction at Disney or Universal, which attraction would you be, and why? May I answer in a song? Yeah, <laughs> sure. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. Okay, and why? Why? It's the best ride at any theme park. Oh, okay. Do you have any public social media? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What are they? <laughs> uh, my Instagram is just the Tim. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Snapchat is ha 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 Tim. <laughs> I thought Bye, Snapchat ha. was just the Tim. 
That's my name, but my username is ha 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 Tim. Oh, gotcha. I will put his QR code over his head, and you know where to find me. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Musical.ly, and Facebook, all at at Ellis. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and comment what you would like to see next time. And use the hashtag DGT to ask questions. We will see you later.